Now we have seen how easy it is to add a site logo to the WordPress theme. Now let's see how to add these navigation links in this WordPress theme. So I'm going to first back to my dashboard. When I hover over this appearance, I'm not going to have any menus option here. So as you know, to create a menu, you need to first register the menu and then you're going to have that option in these appearance settings. So I'm going to first register navigation menu and then create a navigation menu for this WordPress theme. So I'm going to open my editor and back to the functions.php file to register the navigation menu. So just start this theme support right down here. I'm going to create a command register navigation menu and I'm going to create here a function and name that function fn now menu. Now keep in mind you can specify your own name for this function. Now in this function I'm going to register the navigation menus. So I'm going to call a PHP function here register now menus and to this function I'm going to specify parameter using an array. So I'm going to specify here array and in the parenthesis of this array I'm going to specify parameter. So I'm going to create two navigation menus in this WordPress theme. So I'm going to first specify ID for this navigation menu. So I'm going to say here primary menu. So this is going to be the ID for this primary menu and I'm going to specify value or you can say title for this navigation menu. So I'm going to specify here in this parenthesis, I'm going to say primary menu. And if you want, you can specify text domain as well in this second parameter. Just start that, I'm going to specify comma and create my second navigation menu. And this navigation menu would be in the footer of the WordPress theme. So I'm going to just simply add here a single code and specify ID for this navigation menu. So I'm going to say footer menu. And I'm going to specify title for this footer. So in the single code, I'm going to specify footer menu. And I'm going to specify text domain here. Now just out of that, once I register these two navigation menu, I'm going to add action hook here. So I'm going to say add action and call the init hook. And in the second parameter, I'm going to call my function. So I'm going to say here fn nav menu. Save the changes. Back to the dashboard, reload the dashboard and hover over this appearance. When you hover over this appearance, you can notice we have this menus option. Just click on it and open the menus of the WordPress theme. Once you open the menu screen, you have the default menu, primary menu. And in this menu, you have two navigation links, the sample page and the books. Now just after that, what I want, I want to display this navigation menu on the certain location. So I'm going to open my editor and back to the header.php file. Now to display the navigation menu, you need to specify the location where you want to display that navigation menu. So I'm going to just open the header.php file and in this file, I want to display my navigation menu right down here inside this collapse class. So I'm going to just create it off this ul tag because this is just a static HTML template. So instead of removing this ul tag, I'm going to add a comment here and put this ul tag inside the command just like this. And just out of that, instead of adding this static content, I'm going to add here dynamic WordPress navigation menu. So I'm going to add here a PHP syntax and just specify here command display primary menu. And what I want, I want to first check if we register the navigation menu at this location. So I'm going to just determine whether a register now menu location has a menu assigned to it. So I'm going to call here if has now menu. So I'm going to call here a template tag has now menu. And in the parameter, I'm going to specify the ID of my navigation menu. So I'm going to say here primary menu. So using this if statement, I'm going to just determine whether a registered navigation menu location has a menu assigned to it. So if we have navigation menu and has this primary menu location assigned to it, I'm going to just display that navigation menu at this location. So in this if statement, I'm going to call a template tag WP nav menu. And in this WP nav menu, I'm going to specify a different parameter. To specify parameter, I'm going to call an array. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify parameter to this template tag. You need to specify a required parameter, which is theme location. So I'm going to specify here theme location. And to this theme location, you need to specify an ID of the navigation menu. 
So we know that I want to display the primary menu at this location. So I'm going to say here primary menu. So I want to display the primary menu in this header section. So I'm going to just save all the changes back to the website on the menu screen. And now I want to specify the display location of this navigation menu. So I'm going to specify this primary menu display location here. So I'm going to just check this checkbox just like this. Save the changes. So I'm going to just click on this save menu. There is one more way to specify display location for this navigation menu. If you just take a look at this manage locations, you're going to have location for your navigation menu. So we have two locations for this navigation menu. First is the primary, second is the footer menu. So as you can notice here in the primary location, I'm going to select my primary menu. Save the changes and just back to your website. Now when you reload your website, you can notice you have your sample page and books. Now, if you just take a look at your navigation menu, then we don't have any styling to it. So let me show you how you can add styling to it. But before I specify any styling, let me just open the source code of this template. When I open the source code and reload it, you can notice down here we have the collapse class. And in this collapse class, I'm going to have a division tag with a UL tag. And in this UL, I'm going to have different LI tags. And in this LI tag, I'm going to have my navigation links. You can notice here. Now what I want, I want to just remove these classes from this division tag and from this UL tags and specify my own classes to it. So using it, we can specify our own styling for this navigation menu. At this time, you can notice we don't have any styling to it. So let me just back to my editor and show you how we can style this navigation menu. So to style the navigation menu, I want to first remove this division tag. Because in the standard HTML, I don't have any division tag to wrap this UL tag. So I'm going to just remove this division tag. So I'm going to just open my header.php file. And inside this array, I'm going to specify second parameter here and specify container. So using this parameter, I'm going to tell the WordPress, I don't want to wrap this UL tag inside any division tag. So I'm going to just specify here container and specify here single code. So just save the changes and back to the website. When you back to the website and reload it, I'm going to just reload this source code. You can notice I'm not going to have this division tag in this collapse class. I don't have the division tag here. So the WordPress will not wrap this UL tag inside any division tag. Now what I want, I want to remove these classes and these IDs from this UL tag and specify my own classes. So I'm going to just do that using a simple item wrap parameter. So I'm going to just back to my editor and specify here a parameter to this WP now menu template tag. And I'm going to specify here items wrap parameter. And to this parameter, I'm going to specify my UL tag. So in the single code, I'm going to just call UL. And I'm going to just close this UL tag just like this. And I'm going to specify class to it. And I'm going to specify class in the double code. And I'm going to say now bar now and specify margin right auto. I'm going to specify these classes to this UL tag. And in the UL tag, I'm going to call the third number of parameter of the printf function. So I'm going to call here percent assign $3 s. Now let me explain this PHP syntax. So I'm going to just explain this syntax down here. I'm going to create here a command, HTML command, and I'm going to just copy and paste few text here. Now to understand this syntax, you need to first understand what is item wrap parameter. So the item wrap parameter is built using printf function. Now the printf is a PHP function used to specify different parameter. This is a template tag that is passed with the printf. So when you specify this parameter in the WordPress template, you're going to pass this printf function. And if you just take a look at this code, you can notice here the navigation menu has this printf function and in this function I'm going to specify a parameter as an argument of this function so to this function I'm going to specify this argument item wrap and to this argument I have three parameters and you can call this syntax number placeholders now this refers to the argument specified in the printf function the person assign mark a placeholder so the number is a position and the type s means it should be treated as a string. Now just take a look at these parameters. When you specify item wrap parameter 
to the WP nav menu template tag, you're going to have these three parameter with it. You're going to have this wrap ID, this wrap class and the items. So using this wrap ID, you can specify the menu ID to the UL tag. Using this wrap class, you can specify menu class to the UL tag. And using these items, I'm going to have my navigation links in the UL tag. So I'm going to just specify this third parameter in this UL tag. You can notice here, we just specify this third parameter in this UL tag. So I'm going to just have all my links using this third parameter. Now I'm going to just save all the changes back to the website. You can notice here we have ID to this UL tag and have class to it. I'm going to just get rid of this ID and specify my own class to this UL tag. So I'm going to just reload this browser and you can notice here, I'm going to just have my own classes to this UL tag. Let me just back to my website and reload it. When I reload the website, you can notice I have my navigation menu here. Now what I want, I want to just change this color of these navigation links. So I'm going to just do that by specifying this link class and this text light class to this anchor tag. If you just take a look at this anchor tag, you can notice we don't have any class to it. So I want to specify both this link and this text light class to this anchor tag. In WordPress, we don't have any parameter to specify that classes to the anchor tag. So I'm going to just use filter hook to specify these classes to the anchor tags. So I'm going to just back to my functions.php file and inside it, I'm going to specify classes to the anchor tags. So just out of this action hook right down here, I'm going to call a filter hook of WordPress theme. So I'm going to create here a function and specify name for this function add link attributes. You can specify your own name for this function that's upon you and to this function I'm going to specify parameter attributes. So to specify attribute to the anchor tag you need to specify parameter to it and using this parameter I can specify different attributes to the anchor tag. So I'm going to call here attribute parameter and in the brackets I'm going to specify which attribute I want to specify to the anchor tag. So I want to specify class to it. So I'm going to say here class and I want to specify different classes to it and I want to specify link and text light class to the anchor tag and just after that I'm going to just return this attribute. So I'm going to just call return statement and just specify my parameter here attributes. Just after that just down here we need to call the filter hook to change the feature of the WordPress theme. So you know that to add new feature we use action hook and to change any existing feature we can use filter hook. So I'm going to just call here add filter and in the first parameter I'm going to call now menu link attributes and to the second parameter I'm going to specify my function name add link attributes. So I'm going to specify the name of my function in the second parameter. Save the changes back to the website and just reload it. But before I reload it, let me show you I don't have any classes to this anchor tags. So when I reload it, I'm going to have that link and text light class to this anchor tag. You can notice here. I have these both classes to this anchor tag. Now let me just back to my website and reload it. When I reload it, you can notice I have my navigation menu here. Now what I want, I want to add some padding between this navigation menu. So I'm going to just open my editor and using style sheet, I'm going to add padding between these navigation links. So I'm going to just open my header.css file. So I'm going to click on this asset. In the CSS, I have my header.css file. I'm going to just open that file. And inside this file, I have this navbar navlink class. So we specify this navlink class to the header section. You can notice here. We specify this now link to the li tag. So instead of specifying this now link, I'm going to just get rid of this now link class from here. Specify here li tag just like this. Get rid of this now link and specify here li. Save the changes back to the website and just reload it. You can notice we have padding to this navigation links. Now, if you want to add one more navigation link here, just back to your menus and from this option, you can add your navigation links to this primary menu. Now I just want to add category in this navigation. So I'm going to just click on this uncategorize and add this uncategorize 
into my navigation menu. So I'm going to just click on this add to menu. So as you can notice, I have this uncategorized in this navigation menu. So I'm going to just click on this save menu and save all the changes back to the website and reload it. When I reload the website, you can notice I have my navigation link here, uncategorized, as simple as that. So by dragging and dropping different navigation links, you can create your navigation menu. Now in the next lecture, I will show you how you can create this beautiful search box for your website. So I will see you in the next one.